So I just saw this post on Unknown Cheats from this user, who basically said that he tried my undetected cheat engine tutorial in order to bypass League of Legends anti-cheat and then attaches debugger to the game. However, he says that as soon as he attaches the debugger, it crashes the game. And I've already seen many other posts and threads about similar issues with cheat engine, for example that if you scan the memory using cheat engine, that also the game just crashes. And I will show in this video how you can fix that. This is by the way nothing new, this has been discussed almost 4 years ago already and um, I will just basically repeat everything. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that you follow my cheat engine tutorial. You will have to do everything until step 12 and make sure you get the hypervisor, otherwise you won't be able to debug the game. So this is necessary. Once you did that, you can just continue watching this video here. So before I will show you how you can basically bypass the crash, I will just show you how the anti-cheat is able to detect cheat engine even though that we changed a lot. So every program is outputting debug strings and debug logs and the debug view++ program is able to read these debug logs. So for example if we attach cheat engine to League of Legends now, you can see inside the debug view program that cheat engine is outputting debug information. The same is with the anti-cheat of League of Legends. League of Legends anti-cheat is also able to read those debug informations and as soon as we hit scan, just let me show you, League of Legends is just crashing and basically it crashes as soon as the desaved scan handler has been created. And um, well, in order to bypass that, we have to block the output for the debug stuff from cheat engine which can be done in a simple way. There has been this release from 4 years ago. It's a simple plugin for cheat engine which basically blocks the debug output from cheat engine. And I will show you how you can do it manually first and then how to use this plugin. First we attach cheat engine to itself. Then we go inside memory view and search for output debug string v for unicode. This basically um, is outputting all Unicode strings to the debug view program and we just return at the beginning of this code. The same for output debug string A for ASCII. We follow the jump and also return here. And the same for debug print. We just go to debug print and assemble the code to return. And that's basically all we have to do in order to block the output. If we just scan for something now, you can see that there are no more outputs and League of Legends won't crash anymore. And before we attach Sheet Engine to the game now, make sure that in settings all those extra checkboxes are checked. Same with debugger options, make sure it uses the DBVM level debugger. And in help, click on about and also make sure that you are running the DBVM version. Alright, then we just attach sheet engine to the game and now we are able to read our health value. We just go to new scan and change those settings and we don't even have to pause this game while scanning. It doesn't matter anymore because we change the output and we can get more health to search for changed value and as simple as that we get our health address. Now we can even Find out what writes to this address in order to attach the debugger to the game. This can take a few seconds, up to one minute. And now it is attached. So if we sell our item now, we can see it inside the inspection window. And now we are at the OP code which is writing our health. We can also debug here. And buy the item again, as you can see the breakpoint hit and we can single step now. So debugging is working fine now, also scanning the memory is fine. Basically we can do everything as if there was no anti-cheat now. So instead of doing everything manually, you can just download this plugin here. This thread has been posted 4 years ago and it's still working fine. So I'm not sure why this doesn't have any attention anymore, because well it's still working fine. So we just download it. After you downloaded it, just go into edit settings, plugins and add the DLL here and make sure this checkbox is checked and press OK. 
So this plugin basically does everything that we just did manually. So we don't have to manually go into the memory view anymore and inside the assembly to change it to return. The plugin is doing that for us now. And all you have to do is make sure that it's checked, then attach the Jit Engine program to League of Legends and well, you're basically done. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask below.